Drug overdoses have increased exponentially since the beginning of the pandemic. At the same time, COVID-19 restrictions have made it difficult for people to receive in-person treatment. CAPKV's Emily Goodell spoke with Triumph Treatment Services in Yakima about how new federal funding is helping them to expand their telehealth program and reach out to those patients. The pandemic has been hard on everyone, but especially hard on people fighting substance use disorder. Triumph Treatment Services providers say the difficulty in accessing treatment and being isolated from support networks has caused a dramatic increase in mental health needs and overdoses. I can't imagine what it must be like to try to get clean when you are not supposed to leave your house like we were in 2020. When COVID-19 mandates made in-person treatment impossible, they turned to telehealth and tried to provide access for the many low-income patients who don't have smart devices or Wi-Fi. It has been a challenge trying to find new ways, innovative ways to meet patients where they're at. We did things like set up um, Wi-Fi hotspots in our parking lot so our patients could come and and engage in treatment from their cars. Now they'll be able to make sure all their patients can get the help they need, even if they can't be in person. Thanks to a grant from the Federal Communications Commission's COVID-19 telehealth program. We were awarded a little over $900,000. It's going to allow us to give our patients access to things like phones and tablets and also um, a smart application through paratherapeutics. It's, it's um, giving people a choice of how they want to access their care. And this gives us the ability to accommodate that. In Yakima, Emily Goodell, Cap View, Local News. Triumph treatment officials are still working to determine which telehealth platform is right for them and making a concrete plan for purchasing more devices. Well, Cadillac Medical in Kennewick has been also awarded more than $760,000 to expand its telehealth program. That'll be able to use that money for patient monitoring cont uh, kits, excuse me, containing tablets, software, and accessories that will allow them to monitor high-risk patients' vital signs from home so they can avoid unnecessary COVID-19 exposures.